Hello, and here a young master slender. Master Page, is Sir John Falstaff here? He is within. He hath wronged me, he hath wronged me, he hath wronged me, Master Page. But it sounds so confessed. If it be confessed, it is not redressed, it is not so, Master Page. He hath wronged me, he hath wronged me. One mistress quickly. I forsooth give her this letter, and the letter is to desire and require to solicit your master's desire to Mistress Anne Page. I forsooth 
I pray you be gone. I had my book of songs and sonnets here. My dinner attends you, sir. I am not a hungry. I thank you for soup. Will it please your worship to come in, sir? No, I thank you for soup heartily. I am very well. I may not go in without your worship. We will not sit till you come. Faith, I'll eat nothing. I thank you as much as though I, I did. Thank you, sir, walking. We stay for you. Nay, pray you lead the way. Mistress Anne, yourself shall go first. I will not go I pray first. You I'll rather be unmannerly than troublesome. You do yourself wrong indeed, love.
Does Master Fenton here? You wrong me, sir, that's still to haunt my house. I told you, sir, my daughter is disposed of. Will you not hear me? No, Master Fenton. Knowing my mind, you wrong me, Master Fenton. Rugby. 
Yes, sir. Follow my heels, rip. Ma fouage, mon désalabour, la grande affaire. Rugby, sir. What is the clock, Jacques? It is past the hour, sir. By my throat, I tarry too long. I'm a tiger, my lady. I will, sir. I demand my heels to the port. This letter is to desire and require you to solicit this, I pray you. Peter Simple, your name is fine for soup. And Master Slender's your master, fine for soup. Tell Master Parson Evans, I'll do what I can for your master. Anne's a good girl, and I wish. There is my box, my green box. Is it this, sir? Oh, me, he'll find the young man here and be mad. Oui, make it all in my pocket. The pesh, quickly. Daddy, daddy, down and call for the piper to play. And may the bishop to dance in his boots, he went gladly on his. But is that you sing? I do not like this toy. Diable, diable. But is that behind your cloak? Rugby, my rapier. I forsooth to desire this honest gentlewoman to speak a good word to Mistress Anne Page, my master. In the way of marriage, sir, he said to you, Jacqueline's giving a challenge. I was a challenge. I was a challenge. I I did myself marry Anne Page and I pray you 
hood of his tongue. I can the white. He is of substance good. My honest lads, I will tell you what I am about. Two yards over. <laughs> <laughs> no quips now. Pistol. Indeed, I am in the waste. Two yards about. But I am now about no waste. I am about thrift. Briefly, I don't mean to make love to Ford's wife. I spy entertainment in her. She disperses hands, she talks, she keeps the leer of invitation. And every part of her to be constant right is his. I am such a Here another who paid his wife. Another letter. She bears the curse to even now. Give me good eyes to examine me past with the most judicious eyes. Sometimes a beam of her view appeared in my foot. Sometimes before she belly.
lost. With both the humors, I will discuss. I will discuss. Revenge. Discuss. Revenge. I will discuss this love to fold. And I to him shall equal hold of all stuff while at while. His dove will prove, his gold will hold, and his soft couch defile. And his soft couch defile. And his soft couch defile. His dove will prove, his gold will hold, and his soft couch defile. Here comes the master A word with you, master fool. A word with you, master fool. Sir John affects your wife. My wife! He loves your wife. Wife, my wife is what he loves, but I am low, rich and poor, one with another for the hand, for the hand. By night, take heed, take heed. As summer comes, or cuckoo birds do sing, or cuckoo birds do sing. Farewell, I pistol am. Farewell, my name is Nim. And for stuff loves your wife. <laughs> Be patient. I will find out this. Oh, my wife. I will seek out Falstaff. He lies at the garter. Mine host shall give me recourse to him and tell him my name is Brook. Brook. <laughs> Only for the chess. I think to be Brook. <laughs> Tis a merry night. Love my wife. What a damned epicurean rascal is this! My heart is ready to crack with impatience. See the hell of having a false woman. Love my wife. My prey shall be abused. My coffers ransacked. My reputation gone. Cuckold, cuckold, a maven sounds well, knows it well, part of it well, yet they are the names of fiends. But cuckold, cuckold, the heaven itself has not such a name. I will prevent this. I will defect my wife. Be revenge on Falstaff. Let me praise for my jealousy. Thank <laughs> you. 
is it? If I would but go to hell for an eternal moment, I could be knighted. What a lie, sir!
with exo simple of itself. I know bullet sperm in me brewing. A cup of wine that's brisk and fine, and drink unto the lemon mine. A merry heart lives long on. A merry heart lives long. Oh, I 
I desire more acquaintance with you. Sir John, I have some money here troubles me. Money is a good soldier, and we're all. If you will help me bear it, take all or half. Give me of the carriage. I know not, sir, how I may deserve to be your porter. There is a gentlewoman of this town. Her name is Mistress Ford. Ford, ten and eleven. Aha! He cannot escape me. Very well, sir. Proceed. I have long loved her. I have pursued her as love has pursued me. But love like a shadow flies when substance love pursues. Pursuing that that flies and flying what pursues. What purpose have you unfolded this to me? Some say that though she appear honest to me, yet in other places she enlarges her mirth so far that there is shrewd construction made of her. Ha -ha! Sir John, you are a gentleman of excellent breeding. Oh, sir. It. So you know it. Here is money. Spend it. Spend more. Spend all I have to lay siege to the honesty of this poor wife. Win her to consent to you. <laughs> Should I win what you would enjoy? Oh, understand my drift. She dwells so securely on the excellency of her honor. She is too bright to be looked against. Now, could I come to her with any defection in my hand, I could drive her then from her ward of purity, her reputation, her marriage vow, and a thousand other her defenses. Now I too strongly encamped against me. What say you to it, Sir John? Master Brooke, I will first make bold with your money, and next. Give me your hand! And last, as I am a gentleman, you shall, if you will, enjoy Ford's wife. Oh, good sir, I say you shall. I'll be with her, I may tell you, by her own appointment between ten and eleven. Ten and eleven. Ten and eleven. It is past nine already, sir. Is it? I will then address me to my appointment. Adieu, 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 Sir John. You shall have her, Master Brook. You shall have her, Master Brook. You shall cuckold. Lord. But you that lies on.
my suit. Sheath thy impatience. Go about the fields with me, and I will bring thee when this dress and page is at a farmhouse a feasting, and thou shalt learn. But stay, here they come. I will be your friend, friend, and question her how she loves you.
with it in all haste and empty it in a muddy ditch close by the Thames side. You do it! I will. Be gone! I feel love, Mr. 
Come, wife, come, I pray you, God. 
send you both these letters at an instant within a quarter of an hour letter for letter but that the name of page and ford differs it is one of the best discretions of a woman as ever i did look upon sir hugh the children must be practiced well to this or they they'll do it I will teach the children their behavior. Tis well, tis well. Now let our plot go forward. Let our wives yet once again to make us public sport appoint a meeting with this old fat fellow where we may take him and disgrace him for it. Fy, fy, he'll never come. Devise but how you'll use him when he comes, and let us to devise to bring him thither. What is your plot? Now, Paige, my daughter, and my little son, and three or four more of their grooveful dress, my heart is loose, my fair is green and white, with the robes of books and tapers on their heads, and crumpled in their hands. Upon the sudden, as false of she and I are newly met, then they come forth the soft it rush at once with some diffusing song. In white, in white, in white, steal my man away and marry her at Eton. I forsooth, I have spoken with her and
think we've watched you now. Would none but her the hunter serve your turn? Oh, good Sir John, how like you wins a wise. Now, sir, who's the cuckold now? Who's the cuckold now? Master Brook. Sir John, we have had ill luck. We could never meet. I'll never take you for my love again. But I will. Slander as a Satan, old cold withered, and all the intolerable entrails. As poor as Job, and as wicked as his wife, and given to taverns, and suck, and wine, and methodines, and to the making as well he can say. I do begin to perceive that I am made an ass. Yet be cheerful, knight. I will desire thee to laugh at my wife. That now laughs at thee. Tell her Master Slender hath married her daughter. Master Slender! Oh, 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 Father Page, Father Page! I came yonder at Eton to marry Mistress Anne Page, and she's a lovely boy. If it had not been in the church, I would have swinged him, or he should have swinged me. If I did not think it had been Anne Page, would I might never stir? And it was William Page! <laughs> but George, be not angry. If Anne Page be my daughter, she is by this Dr. Caius wife. Dr. Caius? There is Mistress Page, there is Mistress Page, my guard and cousin. I have married a guard, so a boy. It is not a page, my guard is a boy. It is a knave, Robin. Larimer, to my heels, Ruby. This is strange. Who hath the right hand? My heart misgives me. Brown. 
And the world is but a play. Sing the whole company at the end of Vaughan Williams' opera, Sir John in Love. Sir John Falstaff was sung by Donald Maxwell. Mistress Page by Susan Griffin and Mistress Ford by Pamela Helen Stephen. Anne Page was Nancy Argenta and the man she's at last managed to get herself married to, her true love Fenton, was Mark Padmore. Her two frustrated suitors, Slender and Dr Caius, were Henry Moss and Adrian Thompson, who was also just as shallow. Stephen Varco was Sir Hugh Evans, the Welsh parson. Anne-Marie Owens was Mistress Quickly, Dr Caius's housekeeper, and Mark Richardson was his servant, Rugby. The two husbands, Ford and Page, were sung by Matthew Best, who soldiered on in spite of a heavy cold, and Roderick Williams. And the host of the Garter Inn was Richard Stewart. Sir John's henchmen, Pistol, Nim and Bardolf, were Brian Bannatyne Scott, Richard Lloyd Morgan and John Bowen. And the three servants, Peter Simple, Robert and John, were James Gilchrist, Colin Fleming and Tim Bull. The Joyful Company of Singers, director Peter Broadbent, and the Northern Sinfonia, leader Bradley Creswick, were conducted by Richard Hickox. This concert performance of Sir John in Love was given as part of the festival of which Richard Hickox is artistic director, Vision of Albion, celebrating the 125th anniversary of Vaughan Williams' birth. The focus is on his operas, and over the next month or so you can hear several other events from the festival on Radio 3, including two more complete operas, his masterpiece, Riders to the Sea, and what you could call his life's work, Pilgrim's Progress, and plenty more. Vaughan Williams is Radio 3's Composer of the Week in a few weeks' time too. Now, as the applause continues, from the Barbican in London, it's time for me to say goodnight. <laughs>